Okay, here we go. This is a sphere, 256 colors, uh, with an AVI mapped onto it in asymmetrics with a simple background. And here's the same thing again with um, a very simple plane behind it, just to show that the reflection is going all the way around the sphere. Asymmetrics is a very old piece of software. It came out in about 1992, 93. Uh, if you want a copy, send me an email and I'll zip up the version that came free on the, uh, on the cover of a magazine. But this software is 17 years old now. But you can still, with a bit of wiggling and weaving, because it has memory errors, it, it sort of it can't understand the degree of memory that we've got now. When this was written, 16 and 30 megs was top end. Here's the decahedron with the same thing mapped on it. In fact, there are something like 200 objects inside the software itself. You can map anything onto it. Here, we can see Azimetrics said, oh, the background image is a bit too powerful for me. I won't render it at all. I'll just leave it gray. So you have to have very small pictures. I think I put something on there about 4,000 pixels across, and it didn't like it. 256 colors was about 10 frames a second. 16 million colors was something like 2 frames a second. This is just one AVI and one object, a sphere. But the software, it was never <laughs> really, it was never really made for this degree of graphical stress. But it's done it. And here's a nut, and I can't get my head around the way. How on earth does they wrap the video around the 15, 20 faces of this nut? Anyway, it's done it. So let's take this. Uh, we want to get this into iCloud. So how can we do that? So fairly straightforward for the for the gurus, but. Let's just give some of the adventurous people uh, a chance. Simple scene in iClone. Render this as your backdrop. Put your spheres, your fruits in the tree. Okay. Render that output. You can't really move the camera around because you have to tie this in with as a. You can't. You can't really tie in camera pans in asymmetrics with iClone. It would just be too much coordination. However, here's the object I'll use for the fruit on the tree. A nice middle grey background which I'll use to make transparent. And then I can take that lower layer and map on six layers of fruit. But you see they're all sitting very far forwards. That's not quite right. And the seventh fruit is missing because um, Corel's Video Studio 12 only has six layers at seventh with the underlying animation. So you just take that output and do the last fruit. You need this tree to overlay on the top so that those video fruits are not sitting so far forwards and loud. And we'll chrome out the background gray and then bang up the value so far that all the other colors start to go transparent as well. And then we'll overlay this onto the tree about 20, 30% transparent because Otherwise, they sit too far forwards that the, the video fruits are on top of everything. And we want them to be in the scene, not sitting on it. Here we can see the eggs, uh, the fruits with shadows on. That's great because that's the 3D scene. Once we've added the videos, now we've added the seventh fruit, now we've added the other tree on top. Now they're shaded a little bit with the tree, they're underneath the leaves, they're behind the branches. It's a bit more convincing. Let's take that a stage further. Let's put uh, an egg in the grass by a tree with the plants on top. Once we've mapped that egg with a video, these leaves will be covered. So we need these leaves and flowers in the foreground look. We need them to overlay again. So we have to make a duplicate animation of those leaves and overlay that on the video, which is this. I remember that egg actually in the iClone scene is only being used as a shape guide so that I can reform this onto that egg. There's nothing stopping you from adjusting the lights in Asymmetrics to suit the lights that you've used in, in iClone. That works. And here we see the leaves overlaid on the video, overlaid on the background scene with the egg. Fairly convincing. We can add shadows to those leaves by taking that leaf overlayer and making it monochrome and about 80% transparent, offset it slightly, and you've got the leaves shadows on the eggs. But I'm not going to do that because it's just too much detail for this simple explanation. Anyway, I hope that's fun. Send me an email if you want Asymmetrics, and I'll zap it to you or dig it out of the archives. Thanks for watching.